A Wolf's Tale by Eva Montanari. A Wolf's Tale by Eva Montanari. Gather round, little ones. Don't be afraid. I am going to tell you a story. My great 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 grandfather was a very bad wolf. Do you remember the story of the three little pigs? You know, the ones with the houses made of straw, sticks, and bricks. And do you remember the wolf who huffed and puffed and blew their houses down? Well, that was him. But this story is about me. I've lived here above Pig City for many years, watching, waiting. Then one summer's day, as a breeze was blowing over Pig City, I noticed the little pigs were up to something. They were whispering and reading notes. Suddenly, a whisper wind caught a note and blew it right up to my window. Invitation, you're invited to little pig surprise birthday party today, four o'clock brick house. Finally, I had my chance. I got straight to work, preparing a little surprise of my own. I worked all day until I saw the little pigs scurrying across town, making their way to the party. So, with my surprise ready, I crept down the hill after them. Pig City was huge! I wandered the streets, but I couldn't find a brick house anywhere. So I knocked on the door. Please, Mrs. Pig, can you tell me where Brick House is? I asked. I've got a surprise for them. No, 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 not by the hair of my shitty chin chin, screeched the little pig inside. I walked further, my package feeling heavier, but I still couldn't find Brick House. So I knocked on another door. Knock, knock, knock. Please, Mr. Pig, can you tell me where Brick House is? I asked. I've got a surprise for them. No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, boomed the pig inside. I walked even further, and just as I was about to give up, I saw it. Brick House. Please, little pigs, little pigs, can I come in, I asked. I've got a surprise for you. No, 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 not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins, squealed the little pigs inside. Please, little pigs, I asked again. I brought you something for you. I heard running and squealing, but no one let me in. The walk had been long, and my package was heavy. Tired and fed up, I pushed and pushed against the door. I slowly creaked it open. Don't be afraid, little pigs. You see, I've brought something for you. For you. It's big and it's bright and I made it just for you. It's a cake! That day, the little pigs let me in, joining their party. And the only thing huffing and puffing was for was blowing out the candles. So you see, little ones, my great-great-great-great-grandfather was a very bad wolf, but I'm not. Now little pigs and big not-so-bad wolves can live happily ever after. Together. It's bedtime. The story is over, and I hope you're all sleepy. Otherwise, well, otherwise I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll eat you all up. Just kidding. Thank you for reading A Wolf's Tale with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this book. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. If you really, really liked it, please subscribe.